I'm just going to assume that I'm live. Hey guys, what's going on? Huge updates for the At Games Legends Ultimate today, along with more leaderboard games. They also included a new feature with a collaboration with CoinOps, which is amazing. We're going to get into that uh, in a little bit and actually show you how it looks on the arcade cabinet. But first, I'm going to show you guys how to set everything up step one from your ROMs, running them through the add-on tool, putting them on the flash drive so they work with this new feature. And I normally don't do these live, but uh, we're going to do it live today because it's fun. So the things you're going to need, you're going to need your ROMs. And these ROMs come from the MAME 0.78 ROM set. Um, I prefer using that set just because of how easy it, it, they are to use on different things. I use this ROM set on the mini systems and I use them on the ALU as well. So MAME 0.78 ROM set. I can't provide those for you. Don't ask where you can get them. If you do a search for that ROM set, you will find them. Don't worry. So we have our ROMs here. You'll need SO files, the Libretro SO files. I'm pretty sure there's nothing bad in these files. I may be able to link these uh, below in the description for you guys just to make it easier for you. Um, also, Jamal, what's going on? True Music, hello, always a pleasure. So in here you have a bunch of SO files. Think of these like system files, like console files. Red, what's going on? The one we want that we're going to be using with the main 0.78 ROM set is MAME 2003. This will be important in a minute. And then you have the add-on tool and the add-on X tool. So we have our ROMs, we have our Libretro files, we can get started. First thing we want to do is prepare a flash drive. Nothing on here. It's FAT32, nothing special. I didn't name it anything. Um, so to get started, okay, we have our ROMs, yes. First thing we're going to run is the add-on tool. We'll move it over here. Now this is just for the new coin ops feature. There's also a feature called add-on X that allows you add box art, bezel art, and stuff like that. We're not doing any of that. Um, we're just doing it for the new coin ops feature. A lot of that's going to be taken care of by the coin ops front end already. So we don't have to do any of that stuff. All we care about with the coin ops front end is the emulator core section right here and the game ROM section right here. So for the emulator core, we're going to hit this choose file button. We're going to navigate to our SO folder, which was right here. And like I mentioned before, we want MAME 2003. Hit open. And now you'll see it's got the path to that core. Now the game ROM. Same thing, we'll go to our game ROMs folder. I think I just added a new folder. I'm not gonna do it with all the games either, just a couple, just to show you how it's done. And then we'll we'll go to the arcade, it's gonna be fun. All right, sorry, I'm out of breath. A lot of talking with this one. All right, so when you first open up your game folder, you're gonna see, hey, where are my games at? If you look down here, it's filtering your games by bin file. If your games aren't in that format, you won't see them. So if you click on this box here, change it to any file, and there's our games. So just as an example, let's do Altered Beast. Click Altered Beast, you can double click it, and you can change the game title if you want, but that's not necessary. Um, not for the coin ops part. Like I said, that's gonna be taken care of already. So we have our ROM, we have our folder, build package down here. Click on build package. Now it's gonna ask you, where do you want this package? Well, it's for, for, the, the, uh, for this feature, you want it on the root of your flash drive. So USB drive F. Also, I was told by Brittany, um, I was actually talking to him earlier on how to get all this done. And you want to make sure that the files are named exactly the same as what the ROMs would be named, what the, um, the art is going to be named. You'll see that a little bit later. So you're going to take out everything but the name of the ROM, how it was named previously. Click Save, it'll build your UCE package. See, this, none of this stuff was explained to me when I first tried to start adding stuff to my Legends Ultimate. So I had to really find out all this stuff on my own. Um, and you can find UCE files. UCE are what you use with the Legends Ultimate Arcade. Um, but 
you know, you don't, I, I've never heard of UCE files, so I don't know what they stand for. I just know that those are the files associated with that, you know, with the cabinet. And you can find those. There are places that will already have those, just like you find your ROMs. You can find UCE files if you know where to look. There's Reddit groups and other groups. You'll be able to find them if you search for them. So now we should have our UCE file on our flash drive. Let's check it real quick. There it is, Altered Beast UCE. I'll show you guys one more time, and you can do this with multiple packages. I don't know how. I'm doing it one at a time, and it seems a lot slower than normal. I don't know how to do it on multiple packages. You click this, ask for, I don't know. I don't know how to do that yet. I haven't learned that much. So let's do another one. We're gonna keep this file. You can keep the main file in there the whole time because you're gonna keep making uh, arcade games, arcade UCE files. So we're gonna pick a different game ROM. What I don't like about this is that you have to keep navigating to that folder every single time. It doesn't save it, but what are you gonna do? Uh, splatterhouse, splatter.zip, open, build package. Now this time, see how it's still named Altered Beast? That's because the game title is named Altered Beast. If you want that to be changed on the next screen, you can just edit it right there. Click build package and you'll see add on splatter. Take out the add on part, just leave splatter.uce, save, and it's gonna build our package for us. Okay, check our flash drive again. That's not the flash drive. Where'd our flash drive go? Open up the PC. There it is. Except I didn't put it in the right spot, did I? Nope, that was my fault. Build package, USB drive, change the name. That, save. Now it's there, now it's there. See, this is why you don't do tutorials live. Anyway, so very easy to make UCE files. And these alone will work on the At Games uh, Legends Ultimate Arcade by itself. So that's how you make the UCE files, but you're not done yet. For this to work on the coin ops feature, you have to add some more folders in there and you have to convert these UCE files using the, <laughs> using the add on X tool. So I'm not sure exactly what this tool is. I know what it does. It changes you, your UCE files to run better on the system and you have to change them with this tool for this to work, but it's very easy. When you open up the add on X tool, Let's see here. Uh, you're just choosing your flash drive letter. So that's right here, hit OK, then build. And you'll see behind this, it built two successful UCEs. Easy as pie, all my other stuff went away. All right, so now you have an add on X folder. Don't touch that folder. You're gonna add your own folder here. So just for the coin ops feature, COX, coin ops X. In this folder, you're gonna add more folders. So right now, we're looking at add on X, a COX folder, and then your UCE files. So inside the COX folder, again, I had to get with Brittany Pears earlier to figure out how to do all this stuff. It was going on, everybody. Sorry, I'm not saying hi. I'm trying to focus on the tutorial. So let's go back to coin ops X. This keeps, oh, there we go, okay. So. If you have Coin Ops Next, I recommend you get it first off. It's a great front end. It's one of the best looking arcade front ends on the PC. Highly recommended. Anything that Coin Ops puts out, you want to get. They do amazing work. I did a video on one of their um, one of their releases, I think, last year. Um, but Next is is a whole nother level. It's it's the next level, and they're coming out with the Next Two soon. I'm not sure when, but anyway. This, this uh, next part, I recommend getting CoinOps next. It's gonna make it a lot easier to add everything else that you need to get this working. So, what I have here is my CoinOps next folder. And what you want to do is go into collections. You'll see in your, in your CoinOps next folder, you'll have collections, arcade, medium artwork and five folders here. You need to put these five folders, don't copy and paste because in these folders, how much is in here? Almost eight gigs of stuff, you don't need all that. 
um, but you do need to have these folders named like this on your flash drive. So we can do that real quick. Just new folder. We need a cover folder. We need, excuse me, a logo folder. And we're not done yet. Marquee. I love arcade marquees. Anybody else love arcade marquees? I think they look so cool. I used to use them as my uh, thumbnails when I used to do the old uh, Will It Run videos. Vert and video. I don't think I don't know if it matters if it's lowercase, uppercase. Not really sure. Anyway, so now on our flash drive we have cover, logo, marquee, vert, and video. You're gonna see what all those do in a minute. So we have what was it? What games? Altered Beast and Splatterhouse. So in each of these folders, except for vert for some games, uh, you're gonna have art or a video clip. If you have coin ops next, it's super easy to get the art and video clip for those games because they're all right here already in this bundle. If you go into cover, here's a bunch of cover arts. And Altered Beast was included on there. So let's open up our cover art for our flash drive. Altered Beast should be right around the corner. There it is. We're going to copy that art, put it into cover. Now you can just copy all the folders over if, if you don't mind having eight gigs of pictures and videos and stuff, you can do that. So cover art and what was the other game that we did? I don't remember. Splatterhouse. Okay, yes, yeah, Splatterhouse. Let's find a Splatterhouse on here. So many, so much. Man, they do such good work. Let me find Splatterhouse. I just saw it. Nope. Splatterhouse. There we go. I love Splatterhouse. All right, so now we have our cover art. Let's get our logo art next. Where can we find logo art? In the logo folder. Sweet. All right, so we need, again, Altered Beast. We can find that somewhere. KL. There it is. Logo art looks so nice, too. Now let's get Splatterhouse. Spelunker, Spider, Splatterhouse. Put that in the logo folder. Perfect. Marquees. Arcade marquees are awesome. There is no argument. Let's find Ultra Beast again. Should be right there. Boom. Altered Beast. That looks so cool. Man, that looks cool. All right, Splatterhouse. I'm glad that I picked these games because they're actually they're games that I know. And I know they work. All right, Splatterhouse right there. Copy and paste. What's next? Vert. Okay, so this Vert section. This is for older arcade games that had like the skinnier window. The Vert art will just kind of replace the outside kind of like borders on like a 4-3 screen. It fills in everything if it's in widescreen. We don't have any games like that on here. But if we go into the vert folder, say we added 1941, 1942, whatever, we would just copy those into this vert folder. And I do have 1942 on the build I'm going to show you. So you'll see what that is. So vert folder goes in vert stuff. Video, last one, video. These are cool little video clips for each one. That's important. It makes everything really, really look nice. I like the video part. I probably already passed it. Walter Beast, I did. Videos, as you can probably guess, take up the most space. Splatterhouse, next. I saw it. I saw it. I didn't see it. I saw it down here. There we go. Right, and you guys can hear me, okay, right? Just making sure. All right, so... All of our folders are set up. We have our games, we have our COX folder with cover art, logos, marquees, and once again, uh, Brittany told me that everything needs to be spelled just like the game name. So Alt Beast, Alt Beast, same thing. Oh, you can't hear me, good. I'm gonna ask you that like 10 times in this video, especially when I move over to the arcade cabinet. And also, if for some reason something goes ho horribly wrong when I move to the arcade cabinet, this will just be a two-part video. Don't worry about it. Hopefully, I can get it all in one part, though. 
Um, so everything is where it needs to be. Everything is spelled the way it's supposed to be spelled. We have our add-on X stuff. Don't touch that. Leave this folder alone. Don't touch it. So now all that's left is to safely remove this drive from our system. And then we plug it into our arcade. So here's the next part. I'm going to have you guys hang on for just a minute. So I can go to the arcade. It'll just take me a couple minutes. I gotta, you know, switch out some lights and stuff. Literally, hopefully like a minute at most. And then you're gonna see me over at the arcade. We're gonna try this new coin ops feature. I can't wait. So if you don't mind, please stand by. There, now can you hear me? It helps if I unmute my mic. Jeez. I'm back. Is everybody else back? Can you hear me okay? Mic is right there. I mean the microphone, not mic. Any, anybody. So I was talking to myself a little bit apparently. All right, you can hear me okay? Can you see the game screen okay? I know I'm taking up a little, little bit of space on the screen. So let me know if you can hear me again. can't hear now you can hear okay you guys are way over there now so it's hard for me to read chat oh can't do this all right so we prepared our flash drive i actually put mine on a uh, sd card with a card reader something else is you i recommend you use um faster cards if you like really old cards stuff may not work very well um so i recommend a newer card or um, a faster flash drive. They don't have to be 3.0 because I don't believe the ports in the Legends Ultimate are 3.0, so it doesn't matter either way. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this in the leftmost uh, USB slot on the Legends Ultimate. Now, when we go to the BYOG section, you see in the middle, we have a new CoinOps area, CoinOps X. 
super excited. If I hit A on that, wait for it. Get a loading screen. Nice, nice blue. But that's not what we're here. We're not here for the blue. This is what we're here for. Can you hear me over the game audio? Can you hear any game audio? Let me know. That's the next part I need to know if you can hear or if anything's there. All right, so here's 1942. Sound like a robot? Oh, I don't know if I can fix that. Like a deep voice. Am I still robotic? Am I still super deep voice? Also, I'm still here. I'm just trying to read chat to make sure that I sound okay. Better now? Better now. Okay, better now. So stop ruining oh, the, the thing. Don't do what you your own thing, Kirby. I didn't put Kirby on there. All right. Here we are. Everything good, much better. Great. Okay. Um, can you hear the game audio? Not that that's all that important, I guess. Okay. So what I mentioned before on that folder, well, first off, look at this. I mean, this is amazing. This is what you get with the coin ops front end. You have the scroll wheel over here to the side. That is the logo art, the logo art. Uh, folder you added that's what you added here the logo art and behind it you see the plane shooting at other planes you have the beast a dude with his knuckles that I forget which folder that was um, but all this that background the scroll wheel the marquee and look at the marquee how it blinks give it a second that's intentional like you know old arcade marquees um, you added all this the video you added that yourself that is what you get with this coin ops build on the legends ultimate Really, really, really amazing. No game audio? I probably just have it really quiet. You know what? I'll turn it up on the arcade. You can hear it on here, I think. All right. there. So, oh, the vert. Okay, yes. So that vert folder um, that I showed you, if you look next to the 1942 video, you can kind of see those borders. It looks like a coin slot, 25 cents, insert coin to play. That's what the vert art is. Not all games will need that. If we go down to Altered Beast, you see that it fills a whole screen. So there's no need for the vert. So when you're adding your games yourself, you may not have that vert art because, you know, the game doesn't need it. If I go to Berserk, I think that one did not. Dig Dug maybe? See, Dig Dug has it as well. So not all games will have that. But I mean, that's it. That's how, if you get, if you get everything done, this is what the end result is. And at games, um, you know, is just doing the cool thing and allowing this third party to make this stuff, you know? And again, any issues that you have, if you have some problems, don't go to at games. You have to go to the coin ops discord for assistance. I have a link to their Discord down below. Along with that, uh, P-Dubs, Arcade Loft, and the Tech Buzz did some really cool videos earlier today on what all this stuff is. I have them linked below as well. Cool Toy also covers a lot of Legends Ultimate stuff as well. All their channels, go check them out. They're really cool. Once again, they should be in the description below. I need a drink. Whew. All right, so. Once you're here, just hit the A button and you get that nice little graphic coming at you. And then the game starts. So let's play a little bit. What does it look like without vert images? It'll just be black bars. So really the vert images may not even be necessary. Do you guys have a little bit of game audio now? Can you kind of hear the game a little bit better? If not, let me know. I'll fix it on the next one. I like 1942. I just don't like the music. At least the first part of the music. It always sounds really bad. Like, 
I don't know. The Nintendo version doesn't sound all that great either. Ooh, the red planes. Can I get some better shots? Maybe if I hit all the planes, I could have. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, okay, you can't you can't dodge the you can't dodge the big plane when it comes from behind. So anyway, okay, say you're done. Say you're you're angry because this plane keeps hitting you from behind and you're like, forget this. You rage quit, hit the menu button, you get all the same options that you do with your regular Arcade Legends Ultimate games. So we're gonna quit because 1942 is hard. Altered Beast, on the other hand, is not that hard. A lot of people don't even know that there's an arcade version of Altered Beast because they played the Sega Genesis version. But, oh, and to insert a coin, you hit the start button. Um, oh wait. Rise from your grave. I love that. He didn't say please, but that's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna help him out anyway. So, let's see, we got the jumps. We got the ankle kicks. The ankle kick, I don't know if, I, if I've told you guys this before, but that is like the most useful move in all of video game history. When you go for the ankles, you always win. Now we just got a little bit of steroids. Not a lot yet. We're not like addicted or anything. But we, we, we want to get buff. We want to look good for our date. So we killed a two-headed wolf bull thing. There's one, but they don't give us power up. They don't give us a steroid effect. Here's another one. Let's see how we look now. Oh, we're pumped. We're so good. All the ladies will want to come and uh, meet us and, and have dates with us. I'm going to break those blocks. And... What happens when you take too many steroids? A lot of body hair. So now we're the werewolf. This version is so cool though, because um, I don't know if you can see, when I kill all these guys, watch. See how all their like guts and everything came towards the screen? That's so cool. Also, you can throw Hadokens. Angry werewolf Hadokens. And the games are running great. And I like to call this boss uh, the one that most people make it to because <laughs> after this it's harder to think of like any other bosses that you really fight on this game so we're gonna kill the boss real quick we're gonna use our hadokens as we dodge his own heads now on the genesis version i don't remember that pile of bones and skulls underneath him that may just be because you know they couldn't really get that great of art on the genesis you know they're you're limited to what you can actually do with the Genesis. So I never noticed he was made out of like a pile of bones. That's gross, I mean, weird, but he looks so cool. For a first boss, they did a really good job with him. And we beat him, so we're done. We don't need to play any more of this. There's so many games left. I only put like a little under 30 games. <clears throat> and here's the arcade version of Battletoads running awesome again. Um. This is actually a sequel. Oh, in some games, you can't use save, load, rewind functions. That's okay, because this is an arcade game. You don't need save, load, rewind. You're not supposed to save, load, rewind. You want to play the arcade game. <clears throat> so this actually came after, if you're not rash, you're not the cool guy. This came after the Nintendo version, I believe. This was meant to be um, like a sequel to the Nintendo version. And the graphics look so nice on it too. So let's jump and this is not um, very kid friendly. I mean, it is by today's standards, it's not that bad. It's very violent though. This, I mean, this version of the game is insanely violent and it's cool to kick the pigs into the screen. I'm gonna blow these rats up and they turn into bones. But like, hold on, maybe I can do it. Not with these guys, because they're too big. I just kicked them into the screen. But yeah, this is, um, you'll see. I'll, I'll do some stuff that'll show you the, the gore. Like, um, hold on, not this guy, maybe this guy, no, wait, hold on. Oh wait, here we go, here we go. This is maybe it, oh yes, here's, that's what I wanted to do. The fingers to the face, and some flies. Boot him, boot him, and to the screen. I need more rats.
No, 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 no. This is. I want to do the. There's, there's a couple things I want to show you. Some really. I mean, the figures to the face was pretty bad. That was pretty rough. We died. That's fine. I didn't die when I. I didn't die when I practiced. There we go. How about a beheaded rat? You didn't see that in the Nintendo version. Let's see if I can do the same to this guy. Maybe he's a stronger rat. He's a different color. Took his head off. Just took the head off. Just took it right off. And we have this big thing. We want the boxes though. They're in the way. Let's move a little faster. Okay. Well, we we get the idea. It's battle toads. It's violent. You do some some rough stuff. In battle toads. Okay. What else? Berserk. Now I'm a little upset because I didn't add this one right. Some older games like Berserk. Donkey Kong, you need a uh, sound sample to get the sound effects in the game. And Berserk is my favorite Atari 2600 game. Um, never played the arcade version when it was out. But it is my favorite Atari, Atari, Atari game. Um, but I'm a little upset because the version I have here, there's no sound. I don't have the sound effects because I didn't add the sound samples. Um, but there are ways to add the sound to it. This was just because I was lazy and I didn't want to go through the whole process of adding the sound samples but it works great we're gonna kill these guys i love berserk man oh there's a smiley face don't let the smiley face get you because he sucks but even these older games work on here and it feels it's, it's so different with arcade controls it's it's a totally different experience don't shoot at me don't shoot at me oh the smiley face is out quick i almost died can i move oh i can i can just move on so let's move on to a different game all right, so Bionic Commando next. All right, let me read some chat over here. Yeah, there's no pack-in ROMs with uh, this version, but if you get um, if you go to the CoinOps Discord, they can provide you with instructions on how to get um, the files for CoinOps next. And again, you have to find the ROMs, convert them the way I showed you at the beginning, and all that. How about some Bionic Commando? Oh, it's loud. All right. I was never good at this game. Turn it down on my end. We got arm. Then we have the gun. Yes. Off we go. Let's hit that. Did they go to us? They will. That's not what I wanted. No, I thought they were going to go to the, the soldier. You have an arm too? Oh. We're just going to... We're just going to... We're going to get shot. For such a... I mean, the, the um, subject matter of this game... Oh, I didn't know I couldn't do that. Oh, that's good to know. I'm told I wasn't good at this game. The subject matter of this game, the music and everything is so, like, cheery. Like, we're gonna go fight this war and kill these soldiers. Take care of that gate. Shoot up there. And... Oh, almost made it. But that's Bionic Commando. Also works. Works great. Yeah, um, this is one of my favorites too, Captain America and the Avengers. So not all ROMs will work with this. You can't just load up any ROM you want. Like, probably 3D arcade games won't work very well. Um, I don't think Killer Instinct works. It's hard to say. Um, but real basic games, the older stuff, you'll probably have a better time getting them to work on here. I love this game. They're, if you're not Iron Man, you're doing it wrong. But Killer Instinct Arcade is actually one of my favorite, if not my favorite, arcade uh, fighting game. I love Killer Instinct. I'm actually not bad at it. I'm usually not good at uh, arcade games, but that one, I'm okay. All right, we have all the moves. We are so iron. I'm gonna shoot some guys and probably rush through them and maybe pick them up. Cool. Oh, you guys aren't dead yet? Well, I'll just phase you away or throw rocks. Ooh, you look thirsty. You're not thirsty. Okay, well, eat my fist then. Also, you look thirsty. And garbage for you. These are the strongest weapons of the game. Don't use your lasers. Throw garbage and rocks. Why should it goes well? I don't know why should it. And after this, um, I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a look. Jeez. I'm gonna take a look at the uh, 
the new leaderboard games. I want to try and get some new scores on the leaderboard games because I haven't uh, done too many leaderboard sessions. So we're going to get on that after I'm done showing you all these games on here. But for, you know, the most part, like, that's that's all there is to it. I showed you guys how to do everything. I love Dig Dug. Love Dig Dug. I love when you move and music goes like this. That's so cool. Very violent game. I knew that was gonna be too close. But a really fun game. Really, really fun game. And these rocks are over here so you can dig underneath them and they fall down and sometimes squish the bad guys. You can make little pathways. Kinda looks like Rally X. Anyway, we got a, we, we, we have more games to check out. Double Dragon. That's a great game. You got the multiplayer on the arcade version, not so much on the Nintendo version. I do like when you hit the button, I think I said it, you get the little the icon comes forward, forward at you again. Coin up. We have to save our girlfriend. Spoilers. Yeah, and there's so many other ways to, to play games on here. You got OTG, you have um, the regular add-on X tool, you have the blast systems, you have the boom systems. The one thing, not the one thing, but one of the things I love most about uh, the system is how many options that at games gives you to play all these games and to add your own games. It's really, really good. Or you can play the 350 that's included on it. Oh, don't even, don't even. I'm not facing the right way. The controls aren't like the Nintendo controls. How about a kick to the face? Perfect. Oh, you dodged, he dodged my kick, how could you? <clears throat> also, there's ways to map your controls if you don't like the controls that you start with. Get, there we go. I think you could actually do that. In, yeah, button mapping right here. And you can also change the uh, the spinner um, and the trackball, um, I forget the word. I forget the word. Anyway, you can do that there too. Galaga is a great game. It is one of my favorite games. I love Galaga. Galaga is on the Namco Arcade Blast, I believe. That's a really fun game. Close my fridge, saying hi. Point up, shoot for, for justice. Who doesn't like Galaga? Also, you don't want to kill the big guys in the back because then you get double ships and I didn't do it right so I don't get double ships. That's okay. <laughs> Yeah, you can also connect this to a Raspberry Pi, an Odroid if you got one. Um, what else? Uh, you can stream off your PC onto this thing? I haven't figured that part out either. I've, I've gotten it to have the, the computer on the screen, but I can't get the actual like controls to function right. I still gotta talk to the, the at games guys to get that figured out. Ghost and Goblins, one of the best games ever made. I'm not gonna hear anything else about it. So don't even try to argue. Sensitivity, thank you. How many buttons per player? You have an A, B, C, X, Y, B, Z. I'm so sorry. A, B, C, X, Y, Z per player. You each have your own spinner. You each have your own joystick. You also have your own coin start, you know, player one, player two start buttons. Insert coin buttons. I love this game. When I go this way, I'm reading chat. When I go this way, I'm taking a drink. And this is what I get for not paying attention. Lost my armor. I get to see him in my skivvies. Okay. That's okay. We like it when the game's harder. That's why I got the uh, fire. Oh, that's not like the Nintendo fire. I mean, it kind of is, but it arcs way further. That's way better than the Nintendo one. And we don't need to shoot up. That's baby stuff. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. 
Oh boy. Okay, there we go. Can we get the plant? Oh, that's this is. Cover your eyes. Don't look at this. Get the kids out of the room. This is so inappropriate. I don't know why I did that. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's a full. I mean, I don't know if my webcam will reach. I can show you the control deck. Or you know what? Hey. While you're watching the stream, pull up another tab. Hit that Google website. I hear it's pretty good. Check out what it looks like. Or, you know, check out my other videos. I've done a, a, a couple on this. And on the Legend Gamer. And on the new pinball. Hat Games has pinball now. Well, they will. Quarter four, 2020. Ooh, that was close. Okay. I just want to make it to the, the red armor. This guy sucks right here. Probably sucks even worse with fire. And you don't beat them the same way as the Nintendo version. No, sir. No, you don't. Because I don't know how to do it on the arcade version. All right, so here's one I left on here because it doesn't work. This is Golden Axe The Duel. There's some Sega games that are just weird. I don't know how to explain it. If you want to talk arcade stuff or ROMs, especially arcade ROMs, talk to um, a content creator named KMFD Manic. He works in the mini scene. He has the best cores. He has the most knowledge of any of this stuff than anyone I've ever met. But if you look at this, you can tell that something's a little wrong here. The warning screen is kind of off to the corner. Some things just not, not adding up. This is one of those games that doesn't work all that well. Um, also, I'm sorry that I'm not chatting with you guys so much because you're way over there and I'm trying to focus on this. Um, but I will come back to you guys soon, I promise. But this is one of the games that don't really work correctly. So I'm just going to quit out of it. But sometimes, even if a game loads, like you saw there, doesn't mean that you'll be able to play it. You know, you may be able to get Killer Instinct to load on here. I don't know if you can, um, but it won't actually run. We need to go to Gradius because that's an awesome game. Also, I forgot to take off the art for Kirby's Adventure. Oh, we have to warm up. Good, let's warm up. Warm up with the drink. Thanks for the share, Jesse. Golden Axe is a great series. I think the Duel is a fighting game, though. Also, they have the, what is it, Tower of Doom or something? Legend of Doom? I don't know. There's two really good beat em up uh, Golden Axe games on the arcade. All right, let's do it. The Gradius. Konami. Coming out with the great stuff. Oh, it's a little off. Right, we need to speed up, first of all twice so we can just pl look how fast we are we're amazingly fast blurringly fast they can't keep up with us we're so fast what do we get next um i don't want double it's kind of I don't like double i like laser but you know what we're gonna go option next that's right option time because look how quickly we get some other stuff i also want laser and missile We'll go for laser next. Okay, laser, super powerful. Not even a threat. Not even a threat! I should've got missiles. Oh boy, uh, that was a threat. I uh, threatened my life. Move on. Out of anger. Oops, somebody's mentioning something. Hold on. Black Gaff Returns? Yes, I did. They, they were really, really good. Thank you so much for that. King of Fighters 98, Neo Geo games. Who would have thought that Neo Geo games would run on this? And they do. I think, right? It worked. Yeah, it worked. They're a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger in size. Here's a Neo Geo BIOS. King of Fighters 98. I really like the King of Fighters games. Uh, who I like... What? Extra advanced. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Yori. Where's Kim? Right there. Who else? Terry's good. I like Andy, though. I also like Kyo and Robert. We'll be Robert. Mix it up. Who's our next competitor? Oh, I'm, I'm actually one of those. I don't know who I'm selecting. I'm just hitting the buttons. What order? I don't care. I don't know. Yori first. Okay, he's probably the best one. I'm the best with him. I gotta remember the controls. There we go, okay. That, oh, that is Yuri, okay. Go Team Yuri. Don't 
taunt me. Need to focus. Gotta focus. Don't oh, eat. That's um, Rio's sister from Art of Fighting. There we go. Why? No. Oh. Just like that. I hope the button clicking isn't too bad. It's hard to not do that when you're playing arcade games. All right. What do we got next? You can play a Nintendo, but I, I forgot to tape. I took it off. There, there's other systems you can play. Magmax. I just recently bought this for the NES. Like, bought a physical cartridge. It's over there. Hold. Let me get it. You know what? Let me show you. I'm proud of Mad Max right there for the Nintendo. Very cool game. Really happy I bought it. All right, so let me show you what this game is about because this is not your average shooter. I mean, it kind of is, but it's, it's got this cool mechanic. Also has this cool scrolling thing effect. That's what I meant to say, effect. All right, let's, oh, and you can fast forward by hitting B. Sorry, I forgot about that. Is, that. is that normal? Am I supposed to be able to do that? Or is that just something... Through emulation, I don't know. All right, so I need, I'm just a little tank looking thing right now, but just wait. Oh, now I got a robot body. Now I'm looking close to something like a robot. Let me kill, oh, what is this thing? It's another vacuum laser. Actually, we can go in these holes to another area. Holy crap, holy crap. How could we possibly get any cooler than this? Well, I don't think this, no. It's not like that. You can't get two, two bodies, but you can grab some legs and become Magmax the robot, unless you get your leg shot off like I did. That was unfortunate. It looked so cool for a second there. It's okay. Ooh, can, can we go down further? Or is that gonna take us back up? Back up we go to fight the muffins, the nuclear muffins. Can I, I wanna kill this. Oh, did I want to kill that? Oh, okay. All right, look at these enemies. What is going on? But look at this cool scroll effect. I don't know if you guys can currently tell, but it's it's the thing. I wish I could get another body. Oh, look at this. Oh, they really want me to go back down. Through the water, they fight. Oh, I lost my body. Back to being a tank. Okay. You know what? I'm not mad at this. I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with what, what we see right here. I don't got a problem with this at all. Tank with legs. You know what? That's scary. That's probably more scary than the full robot. I'm, a, I'm, you know, we'll go with this. Who would dare get in the way of, of the tank, the legged, the legged tank, in the way we died, whatever. So I can probably keep playing that for a long time because that's fun. Hey, how about some Mortal Kombat? That's a fun game. Oh, sometimes you can't get the save load rewind functions. Did I already say that? I don't remember if this popped up yet, but you can't do it there. And again, you shouldn't be doing that anyway. Play the game the way you're supposed to. Reptile's my man for Mortal Kombat 2. This ROM is kind of funny. Sometimes it plays really quiet, so if you can't hear it, it's because of how it emulates. It's, it's just weird that way. All right, okay, Scorpion, perfect. Exactly who I wanted to fight. He's my favorite. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. All right, that's that one. That's that one. Yeah, these controls are a little funky on this one. You'd probably want to change them. And quick, there we go. That force bomb every time. I have The Simpsons, but not on here. And The Simpsons will work. I've tested it many, on, on many other things. It will work fine on here. Okay, you're, you're being stubborn, aren't you? How about some of that? Little, okay, all right, hey, okay, okay. Scorpion, make me look bad, that's fine. Whatever, I thought we were cool. We're not cool anymore. You're you're uninvited to my birthday party, Scorpion. Forget you, I thought we were cool. We're not, nope, no, 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 no. I have nothing to do with you now. Can't I slide? 
nope, 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 nope. Ooh! Okay, so don't do the cheapo. I'm gonna punch you in the face a thousand times. He's gonna kill me. Yes. You know what? We we don't need to see this. We don't need this. This. Okay. Whatever. You know, whatever. Sometimes you just don't. Sometimes you can't beat everybody in fighting games because you're not good at them. Whatever. Hey, Night Slashers. I think that's actually included on the arcade. Why did I put this on here? Doesn't this already come on the Legends Ultimate? I think it does. I don't know why I added it here. <laughs> it's a good game. All right, um, I like to be Jake, because Jake has cool arms. You know what I never thought of? If him and Jax got into a fight, who would win? Jake and Jax. Wait till you see him. You'll see what I mean. Okay, so, oh wait, not yet. There we go, here's Jake. So, I don't know, what do you guys think? Jake or Jax? Are you Team Jake or Team Jax? Because I'm Team Jake, I think. Also, there's there's Colonel Big Arm from Millionaire vs. Predator, but look at, I mean, we got, look at the combos. He's got a gun, blast your face off. Maybe Jax does too, I haven't played the new Mortal Kombat. Look at that jump. I mean, that jump. Look at this. Can Jax do this? Hold on. Can Jax do this? Whatever. Ultimate power, everything. But can he do it in midair? Oh, can I do it in midair? I don't think I can do it in midair. Or maybe I can. Hold on. Wait, wait for the Zambies. Here we go. Boom. Just a freaking black hole. That looks like something Magus from Chrono Trigger would do. Who are those guys? Oh, more zombies. I should have known. Hello, sir. Just a quick shot to the face. Look at these body bags. Oh, don't keep going. Oh, the body bag. Oh, Jason Wannabe. You got a Jason Wannabe. You're too little to be Jason. You know what? Forget all you guys. That was funny. It looked like I killed that one guy with just one punch. Yeah, I think this game is actually included on the Legends Ultimate Arcade, so I really don't know why I added it. I wasn't thinking. But he's a cool guy. I like Jake. Uh, Ninja Baseball Batman. Okay, now the sound is probably going to be really annoying on this one. I don't know why. I don't know why it's so... You'll see in a minute. Because it didn't used to do this for me when I just used the regular add-on feature. So I don't know if I'm using a different ROM or what, but I don't know. Winners don't use drugs. Yeah, see, that's pretty rough. Like, it's... I don't know. Oh, I'm in the wrong one. Sorry. This is a funny game. This is a fun beat em up. There we go. All right, we're the big bruiser. I always go for the bruisers on my beat em up. I like the bruisers. Slide. Also, whack. Dynamite. Get rid of this. Fight more balls with our ball bat. And trash. I'll take that steak. Thank you. Life up. Perfect. And uh, one of those. Stadium food is super expensive, by the way, if you've ever been to a, a live, maybe not baseball too much, football though. I've been to a few uh, Tampa Bay Bucks games. Oh, man, that stadium food. It's good, but it's expensive. Being out of the park. Why am I glowing red? Because I'm almost dead. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Dude, dude. Okay, don't know how I did that. We died. Whatever. Moving on. No reason to stay on that game anymore. Robocop, see? Yeah, the sound was, was, was rough on that one. But I remember it being rough before, so I don't know why it's weird like that. I never knew this was an arcade game. I love this game on the Nintendo. It was, this is the second, the, the second game I've ever beaten in my life. The first one was Super Mario Brothers. Second game I ever beat was Robocop. Ever. I don't remember how old I was. All right, let's fight him. But it's pretty much just like the Nintendo game. And listen to the music. I'll shut up. Can you hear the music? Can't hear it very well. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's really low. Even I can't hear it well, and it's, it's playing on here. All right. Once we get our gun, this game just becomes big, stupid easy. Oh, the triple shot. I, that's not a real thing, but okay. And Robocop can jump. Don't throw grenades at me. I'm Robocop. I don't know what he's saying either. I want to shoot sometimes. Yeah, I don't know what he's saying. Okay, let's just... There we go. He's coming back now. Ooh. I never made it to the first boss. Hey, it's T109, Ed 109, right? Something like that? This is so cool. Please don't, please don't. You're so close. I think he said don't move, creep. Continue. Accepted. Don't make me start at the beginning. Okay. You know what? Let's kill Ed 209. Did I say 209 or 109 last time? I don't know what I said. I'm sorry. Going behind you, Ed. Oh, just going to town with our fists. Why? I'm going to kill him, then we'll move on. Because I want to beat Ed 209. Oh, we did. So why? Okay, never mind. We beat him. That's cool. Oh, but did Lance Armstrong get to keep his medals? He got what's going to him. I don't like him. How about another Neo Geo game with Samurai Showdown 3? This may be my favorite one. I haven't played enough of 4 and 5, really, though. All right, where's my man? Here's Ukyo, yes. We want... I like Slash type. Uh, medium grade? I don't remember. All right. Like Galford and Poppy? Let's do it. Let's fight some Galford. Already off to a great start. Yep, here we go. I thought that was me. Ah, oh, we're doing awesome. There we go. A counter. Back off, dog. That was supposed to be for me. Okay. Eep on to my face. Right to my face. <sighs> All right, Alfred. All right, we'll get him this time. Don't worry. Ooh, how about that? See, I don't have a uh, projectile like you do. But I do have a cool sword fighting style that nobody else in this game has. Aha! Not this time, Galford. Okay, okay. <sighs> nope. You like that counter? Didn't like that counter. I'll get him. I'll get him. There we go. Okay. Jeez. That was a little something. I'm not done yet. I'm going to finish this fight because he made me mad. Don't bring your dog into this fight either, coward. Oh, wait. I did pick the wrong one, didn't I? Yeah, I meant to pick Bust. I do have the wrong, wrong Ukyo. Actually, I, I forgot I do have a, um, a projectile, kind of. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe he doesn't shoot out the bird in this one. Shoot the bird. Ooh, dramatic. Oh, come on now. Hey, what's the next game? What are we playing next? That's cool. Section Z, that's a cool game. I didn't know that was an arcade either. I thought that was only on Nintendo. I never said I was good at these. You know what, I want to see the new uh, Robocop, because I really like the actor that plays him. He was good in a, uh, what was that, that show? I don't know what was that show. The Killing? The Killing. That was a good, if you haven't seen it, that's a really good show. But he played a, uh, a detective in that. Let's bomb this thing down here. Um, so when I found out he was playing Robocop, oh, and he's the same guy in uh, the um, 
Suicide Squad. He's also in the Suicide Squad. I like the Suicide Squad. I didn't think it was that bad. I didn't take it very serious. I don't know if you're supposed to. Did I get a, a bonus? Bonus? I like when you can shoot behind yourself, too. Oh, I broke it. Oh, what is this? A satellite? What is that thing? Dead. That's what it is. Oh, I killed something else, too. I'm just a killer. P for power up? Oh. I feel like I'm shooting more. Was I walking on the floor? Hey! That's cool! I never noticed that. That's a cool, that's a cool thing. I like that. What are these things? Look like somebody. That's bad, probably. I think that thing is bad over there. I shouldn't stay on the edge of the screen. Never mind, I got killed. Moving on. Moving on. Section Z, yes, Section Z. How about Saturday Night Slam Masters? Did you know this was in the arcade? Because I didn't. I played this on Super Nintendo. It's a fun game. It's got Hagar from uh, Streets of Rage? No, the other one. Final Fight. Oh, that's that's too hot for, for this. We can't show that. Yeah, see, he's right there. Hagar. Six feet, seven inches, 300 pounds. He's a freaking mammoth. Going against Stinger. He looks like a wimp. Fighting in LA. The entrance. Look at this guy. <laughs> okay, he's gonna go against the mayor. Okay, okay, so maybe he's, he's, he's a little fast. Oh, not fast enough. I almost stomped on him. Oh, the power bomb, don't pin him. Too early for pins. Not too early for drop kicks. Lariats, oh, he ducked. Off the ropes. Man, look a little. There we go. 30 minutes. Seconds have passed. Three minutes. Get back in here. Little weasel. Another power bomb. Oh. Oh, I guess we can try and pin him. What are you doing? You can't pick me up. Oh. There's no way. There's no way this is possible. A little dude like that could not pick up a 300 pound dude. There's no way. What's going on here? Please get away from me. Okay. It's time for this. The flying drop kick. I'm trying to stomp on. It's not working. This isn't so much a wrestling game as it is just a fighting game with wrestling game characters. Oh, okay. I forgot what this guy's name was already. Oh, you're a little tired? Well, here you go. This will wake you up. Maybe a little bit. Oh, the flying elbow. I don't think I hit it though. Okay, he's tired. He's tired, guys. Give him a break. He's tired. Come here. If you're so tired, you can't be spinning in the air like that. Oh, this will do it. That did do it. Oh, what is this? That was nonsense. That's not humanly possible. I just need... I just needed something like that. What are you running away for? Oh, what a pump. No, there's no way. There's no way. There we go. What just happened? Why did I just fall on my face? I just need to grab him. Just need to grab him. Do that one grab you did before. Oh, you know what? This is just taking too long. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> What's next? Space Invaders, a classic. Is this even the right ROM of Space Invaders? Was the arcade one like this? I thought there was more color in the arcade, unless they, they did that later. But hey, Space Invaders, another shooter. I can't tell if there's sound. This may be another one of those that needs a sound thing. I don't hear any sound. So this may be another one that needs sound samples to go along with it. <clears throat> How about Splatterhouse? Love Splatterhouse. TurboGrafx-16, many has a Splatterhouse. That's also a great system. I still haven't reviewed it yet. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let's do it. Namco. Let's fight some baddies. By the way, this is a little gory. So if, if you're squeamish, sorry. Let's go 
chop off some zombie heads. There we go. And you back there. Don't want you to feel left out. That's a secret attack. That that sliding kick. Wait for the vomit. There we go. Be safe. Be safe, guys. Don't just rush into into Splatter House. You gotta watch what's going on. Spikes. Bats. So many bats. Am I gonna make it? Oh, I didn't have the jump kick. There we go. I want my cleaver. It's very important. Okay, you know what? I'll take a stick too. And just smash them against the back of the wall, because that's what you do in Splatter House. You smash and splat, I guess. I should have said splat first. This thing looks like an alien. It's got its head coming at me. I died by an alien. <sighs> okay, whatever. Hey, Street Fighter! Here's another fighting game I'm probably not going to win at. Was this, this works. Yeah, this works. Okay. There were a few games I was having some trouble with. I couldn't remember if this was one of them. But that um, that Golden Axe game, the duel, that, that I can't get to work. All right, who are we going to be? Um, you know what? We'll be my man, Ken. We'll be regular A-ism. There's a story. Fight some Cammy. All right. See if my controls are correct? Probably not. I bet the, they need to be remapped. They do. Oh, no, they don't. Wait, hold on. Oh, no, they're all right. Okay. Oh, I thought they were wrong. Pulling off the moves like it's nothing. I was right there. That's a lie. The game lies. I had her. I'm not using my uh, my projectiles enough to keep her away. How dare you? How dare you, Cammy? I'm not going to say that I'm the best ever, but I mean, when you win that close, you may as well just give me all the prize money of every tournament that has ever happened with skill and gameplay like that. Oh, don't. No, 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 no. Again. Wow. Two in a row. That's cool. You know, that's fair because I can do that too if I wanted to. Just saying. It, <laughs> okay, all right, Cammy, all right. Dodge this one. You did. Well, you blocked it. I mean, that's good too. I thought I threw her. You know what? We don't. We don't need to. Just move on. Move on to another game. Let's to another game. Strider. Hey, Strider's a great arcade game. Also for the Sega Genesis on Sega Genesis Mini. Yes, it is. 